Well, we've looked at a, several power cycles at this point. Let's move on and evaluate a refrigeration cycle. A refrigeration cycle operating between two reservoirs receives energy QC from a cold reservoir at TC is 275K and rejects energy QH to a hot reservoir at TH equals 315K. For each of the following cases, determine whether the cycle operates reversibly, operates irreversibly, or is impossible. And then we're given four separate cases to evaluate. Let's look at a schematic of this refrigeration cycle. A refrigeration cycle requires work to be input to the cycle. And that causes heat to transfer from the cold reservoir into the refrigeration cycle, which then rejects heat into the high temperature reservoir. In this case, the hot reservoir is 315K and the cold reservoir is 275K. Now, we'll evaluate these by comparing the performance of the cycles that were presented with that of a reversible or uh, the theoretical maximum performance of a cycle operating between these uh, reservoirs. Now, we don't have efficiency with refrigeration cycles like we have with power cycles. We have instead COP or coefficient of performance. And whereas uh, the efficiency of a power cycle was always less than one, the coefficient of performance will always be greater than one. And for refrigeration cycles, we designate the uh, coefficient of performance as beta. So to evaluate these claims, we'll simply compute beta for each of the claims and then compare that to beta max. So what is beta? Well, as with the power cycle, the performance beta is QC over W. It's what we want divided by what it costs us to get it. Well, what is it we want with a refrigeration cycle? Well, we want heat transfer from our cold reservoir. We want QC. So if this were literally a refrigerator, then QC is the energy that we're removing from our cold storage box. What it costs us to get that heat transfer is work put into the refrigeration cycle. So we have beta is QC over W, but an energy balance uh, yields the same a result for a refrigeration cycle as it does for a power cycle that work is equal to QH minus QC. So we end up with beta is QC over QH minus QC. Now for a reversible cycle only, we can say that QH over QC is TC over TH. And so we're, since we're trying to find beta max, we can substitute TC and TH for QC and QH. And we get beta max is TC divided by TH minus TC. So now we can calculate that because we have the thermal reservoir temperatures that are already in absolute temperatures, so degrees Kelvin. And we calculate that beta max for these uh, thermal reservoirs for a refrigeration cycle operating between them is 6.875. So let's evaluate the first case. We're given that QC is 1,000 kilojoules, and the work for the cycle is 80 kilojoules. Well, the coefficient of performance is just QC over W, which is 1,000 kilojoules over 80 kilojoules. And we get that beta is 12.5. Well, this is uh, greater than the maximum uh, beta allowed. And so this process is impossible. Let's look at the second case. We have QC is 1,200 kilojoules and QH is 2,000 kilojoules. Well, we know that uh, beta is QC over W and substituting QH minus QC from an energy balance for W, we get uh, beta of QC over QH minus QC. And that's 1,200 kilojoules divided by 2,000 minus 1,200 kilojoules. We get beta is 1.5. Well, this is less than the theoretical maximum. So this is a possible uh, real system. So therefore it operates irreversibly. All real processes operate uh, irreversibly. irreversibly. Let's look at the third uh, problem. 
We have QH is 1575 kilojoules, and the work required by the cycle is 200 kilojoules. Well, once again, we know beta is what we want, QC, divided by what it costs us to get it, the work. And an energy balance uh, yields uh, that work is QH minus QC. So we can rearrange this and solve for QC. Well, it's QH minus W. And we have both of those terms given in this case C. And we calculate that QC is 1375 kilojoules. Now I can calculate beta. Beta is now uh, QC, which is 1375 kilojoules, divided by W, which is 200 kilojoules. And I get the beta is 6.875 kilojoules. Well, this beta is exactly equal to beta max. So this case is uh, a reversible process. And we can imagine a reversible process, but we cannot actually build it. And case D is simple. Uh, beta is given as 6. Well, this is less than the uh, beta max. So this is very possible, and uh, it describes an irreversible process.